Hi friends, my name is Miss Jerry and I teach preschool at Liberty. I'm going to be doing story time today here in my home and I want to welcome you. Um, I don't know if you've noticed, but when you go outside now, you probably um, have noticed that there are some changes. Uh, winter is supposed to be gone and now it is springtime. Um, even though in Ohio we still see signs of cold weather and sometimes snow in springtime. But when you're out playing and walking, I want you to uh, look around for signs of spring. Um, look up, look around, look down. Um, when I am walking, I love to listen to the sounds of spring. And one of the sounds I love is the sound of birds singing. So I'm going to share a story with you today called Round Robin. Here we go. The title of the book is Round Robin, and the author and illustrator is Jack Kent. I'm sure you know that an author is the person who writes the story, um, comes up with the idea and puts that into print, and the illustrator uh, draws the pictures, and the author is the one who writes the words. And Jack Kent is the author and the illustrator of this story. At first, the little robin was like any other baby bird. Most of him was head and the rest of him was hungry. He ate and he ate and he ate and he ate until he looked more like a ball than a bird. Everybody called him Round Robin. He does look like a ball, doesn't he? The other birds fluttered around from tree to tree. Come fly with us, Round Robin, they said. But Round Robin was too fat to fly. When he wanted to go anywhere, he hopped. Hippity hoppity, bumpity bump. But mostly he just stayed where he was because all he wanted to do was eat. When fall came, the robins began to fly south. Come along, round robin, they said. Soon snow will cover the ground and food will be hard to find. Notice the leaves on the trees are turning colors. It's the season of fall. So round robin headed south too. Hippity hoppity boppity bump. It was slow going. All that hopping made him very hungry. So every few minutes he stopped to eat. This slowed him down even more. Round Robin had not gone very far when winter caught up with him. Hopping in the snow was very hard work. Notice the trees and how there are no leaves on the trees now because it's winter time. It was easier on the road where automobiles had packed the snow down as hard as ice. Hippity hoppity, slippity slide. But it was very dangerous. Woo, watch out. If you don't want to get run over, warned the field mouse, stick to the byways. So Round Robin did, but the snow kept getting deeper and deeper. But Round Robin struggled on. I'm starving, he complained one day. There's nothing at all to eat. I would say that Round Robin is very persistent. He is not giving up. Persistent is a big word that you can use when you are trying and trying and trying to do something hard and you're not going to give up. Oh, I wouldn't say that, said the fox, who suddenly appeared from behind a tree. You look very tasty to me. He licked his lips and leaped at Round Robin. 
How do you think Round Robin feels with a fox coming after him with such sharp teeth? <gasps> Everything happened so fast that Round Robin didn't have time to think. He was even more surprised than the fox when he found himself flying. It wasn't, he wasn't round anymore. It's from all that exercise and nothing to eat, said Round Robin as he flew south. Look, he's flying now because he's lost some of that weight from exercising and walking so hard in the snow. He flew and he flew and he flew. And he didn't stop flying until he caught up with the rest of the robins. It was warm and sunny in the south with no snow on the ground. Soon, food was easy to find, and Round Robin was oh so hungry. Notice the trees now. It's springtime, the tree leaves are green, and all his friends are waiting for him down south. He was so hungry that he ate, and he ate, and he ate, and he ate, uh-oh, until he looked more like a ball than a bird. It had taken Round Robin all winter to make that trip. Now it was spring and the robins were beginning to fly north again. Come along, Round Robin, they said. It's time to go home. Look at him. He's looking up at them. I wonder what he's thinking. <sighs> so Round Robin sighed a deep sigh and started on the trip back north. Hippity hoppity boppity bop. The end. I hope you enjoyed that story. I hope that you get a chance to get outside when it's sunny and the temperatures are warmer. And I hope you look around and see if you can see that round robin. Bye bye.